Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is so requested. You guys request this video throughout the entire year, but I only post it once a year during Vlogmas because I really want you guys to see which blow dryer I use the most and I like the most throughout the entire year. So this video is about my favorite blow dryers of 2022. So I honestly feel like these are the best blow dryers out in the market right now for curly hair in 2022 and going into 2023 i feel like these blow dryers give me a very nice smooth blowout so these blow dryers are the ones that i use the most to blow up my hair so let's get right into the video these vlogmas videos are so relaxing for me to do i mean i even have my little drink right here so let's start with the blow dryer that has been just so good ever since it came out so popular i mean the og dyson supersonic this dyson blow dryer is so good it really does dry my hair very quickly if you like to blow out your hair with a round brush and a regular blow dryer this is the blow dryer for you it dries your hair super quickly and over time it is not going to damage your curly hair I have used this for years now and I love that it brings a diffuser attachment it is so so nice the diffuser attachment is super gentle on my hair and it dries my hair in like less than 15 minutes so that is pretty fast for me and I'm also able to do blowouts with this nozzle attachment in like 40 minutes which is not bad for me so I'm gonna insert some TikToks in here because I've filmed a lot of TikToks using this hair tool and other hair tools that I'm gonna mention in this video but this one is amazing it really does give you like that nice salon blowout at first it takes a little bit of practice and getting used to if you wanted to get a nice smooth blowout with just this and a round brush but once you get the hang of it this gives you very very nice smooth blowouts and it is not damaging over time this is the og zyson and i think this is the best hair tool that zyson has ever invented they also came out with other attachments like the flyaway attachment a white tooth comb attachment and there's just a lot of attachments that you can use with this blow dryer they also have a thinner nozzle attachment for a more concentrated dry so yeah it's a little bit pricey it's about 400 dollars, but it is so worth it and i've used this so much i mean out of all of these dyson hair tools this is the one that i use the most the dyson corral is my least favorite the straightener i don't love it too much and then after that one goes the dyson air app the dyson air app would be nicer for me in my opinion if the round brush attachment was a little bit bigger the dyson air app round brush attachment is too small it doesn't dry my hair very quickly and it's just not my favorite it just doesn't dry my curly hair that well and it leaves it a little bit frizzy so i just don't use the dyson air app to blow out my hair sometimes i'll use it to curl my hair and stuff but now i discovered another hair tool that i like more for that and to blow out my hair and you guys already probably know which hair tool i'm talking about but i'm going to mention that at the end of this video anyways let's move on to the second hair tool i actually have about five blow dryers here and these to me are like the best blow dryers of 2022 for curly hair for blowouts so let's move on to the second one the second one is actually the cheapest one out of all of them and it's the drugstore option so i am talking about the revlon one step hair dryer and volumizer plus so the plus is actually pretty nice for blowouts especially if you use it in the medium heat setting i like that the plus has cool low medium and high as compared to the original that only has the low and high heat setting and the cool heat setting i believe but it doesn't have a medium heat setting and the medium heat setting is hot enough for me for a sleek blowout i've used this so many times in the medium heat setting and it doesn't get as hot as the high heat setting the high heat setting feels way too hot for me and every time i touch my hair i just feel my hair just like burning like i just feel my hair super super hot and i just know that the revlon causes a little bit of breakage over time so i prefer not to use it especially in the high heat setting but if i had to choose one i would go with the plus and use it in the medium heat setting i also like to use a heat protectant whenever i use this hair tool and i like to just take small sections and take my time so that i don't create too much breakage over time 
so yeah i like the revlon plus it's only about 70 dollars. you can probably get it on sale for like 50 60 bucks i'm gonna link all these hair tools down below if i were to use this i would also just use this like about twice a month maybe no more than that i used to use the revlon original like every single week and i was using in the high seed setting i was using keep protected but over time your hair does get a little bit damaged if you do all those things to your hair so i would recommend just using this in the medium heat setting use it maybe like twice a month max and also use a ton of heat protectant and take care of your hair do hair mask oils and just do all the treatments that you can <laughs> um if you're gonna use this one but from the drugstore this one has to be like my favorite one it is really really nice for blowouts by the way i am a little bit sick so don't mind my voice but i really like that this is detachable even though revlon doesn't sell the attachment separately like why revlon why not only can you use this round brush attachment with the revlon plus but you can also use the curling attachment from the revlon one step blowout curls blow dryer this is the blow dryer i'm talking about and this attachment is compatible with the revlon plus but you can only get that hair tool if you buy the whole thing and it's 70 dollars. like i just wish that you could buy that curling barrel attachment separately so that you can use it with the revlon plus like i mean if revlon sold it for like 20 bucks so many people would buy it just because they already have the revlon plus and they would maybe want to use another attachment with that base that they already have i mean i don't i really don't know why they still haven't done that and why you can't buy the attachment separately like come on come on moving on to the next hair tool so the next blow dryer is also really good but it's actually a little bit more expensive than the revlon but it's still cheaper way cheaper than the dyson supersonic so i am talking about the dry bar half shot so dry bar has a couple of different sizes for this exact blow dryer which i love i'm gonna put tiktoks up here so you guys can see but this is the half shot they also have the single shot and then they also have the double shot which is even bigger the half shot and the single shot are like round brushes and then the double shot is like a big oval brush kind of like the original revlon what i like about this half shot is that it's still a pretty big round brush so this size works perfectly for me and it gives me a nice bounce on the ends so i'm able to get like this salon blowout it's like if you go to dry bar and get a nice blowout but you're getting it with their hair tool at home so it really does give you a nice salon blowout from home as you can notice i mean for all of these videos the bristles of all of the hair tools are bore and nylon bristles these bristles just work the best to straighten out my hair so yeah i love this blow dryer because it really does give me such a smooth blowout and it only costs like 150 dollars and dry bar almost always has a very nice bundle where you can save a ton of money with these blow dryers i've seen a couple on their website i've seen a couple on the sephora website you can buy this blow dryer in a bundle and it's going to be like 155 dollars so you're literally paying 155 dollars for the blow dryer and like three more products like full-sized products so i really like that dry bar almost always has that option with most of their hair tools if you wanted something very similar to the dry bar but that is a little bit more gentle on your hair then get the t3 micro airbrush duo this is also in my favorites even though i don't use it that much because it doesn't give me the sleekest blowout but if you have more wavy hair even like straight hair you might really really like this because it doesn't get super super hot and over time this doesn't damage your hair this is only 150 dollars and it gives you a nice blowout if you wanted to use this on a regular to blow out your hair it's gonna take you a while to get it straight so i like it but i don't use it as much as maybe other ones in this video because it doesn't give me the sleekest blowout but again i wanted to include it in this video because some people really want something that is super super gentle on their hair especially if you have like very thin hair and if you have like wavy hair and you don't need a lot of heat to get your hair super sleek i think this one could be amazing for you it has five different heat settings so you can really play around with this and it has three different speeds but i still feel like the hottest heat setting isn't enough for my curly hair so yeah the round brush is also a little bit smaller 
than the dry bar so yeah it's just gonna take you a little bit longer to dry your hair with this take smaller sections than you would with like the Revlon or any other blow dryer in this video okay so last but not least I have to include my favorite and my go-to blow dryer at the time the shark flex style I mean this bad boy wow I love this blow dryer I mean I just discovered it like not too long ago maybe a couple months ago but I just had to include it in this video because it is innovative it is different it is affordable ish but it's better than six hundred dollars I mean 250 270 compared to six hundred dollars for the Dyson Airwrap and this does the same thing in my opinion even better I mean you can't beat that that is really really good so this to me has replaced completely replaced my Dyson Airwrap because I would only use the Dyson Airwrap to curl my hair I'm telling you I would only use the Dyson Airwrap to curl my hair and now this one from Shark has curling attachments as well yeah I just love it it really gives me a nice sleek blowout and so this round brush is exactly what I wanted from the Dyson Airwrap so this round brush is so good it's so big it reminds me of the original Revlon and it has the bore and like the plasticky bristles and it's the perfect size for me it might be a little bit big for some people with shorter hair so I can get it if you might not love this round brush attachment so I hope that they come out with smaller ones because this one is very very big but I'm sure that they will come out with more attachments with the time i mean they already came out with the new one the wide tooth comb attachment so i might get that next and see how that works this is so cool you can detach the attachment that you're using and bring this down like this and it turns into a regular blow dryer you can use your nozzle attachment to blow out your hair with this it also has three different heat settings three different speeds and over time these shark hair tools do not damage your hair i mean they're very very gentle on my hair and it gets hot enough it doesn't get like super super hot it does get pretty hot it gets I think even hotter than the Dyson but it doesn't feel extremely hot like it doesn't feel like it's burning your hair like the Revlon the original it also brings a diffuser attachment this is like the Dyson supersonic and the Dyson air app in one for half the price so it is a game changer it is really really nice so yeah guys those are my favorite blow dryers of 2022 for curly hair you guys know i try out a lot of hair tools throughout the year these are genuinely my go-to blow dryers for blowouts let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these hair tools and if you have tried any of them and so let me know if you end up getting any of these as a gift or for yourself but yeah guys that is it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye